Oke, okay, well, let's get started. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Oke, okay, well, how are you everyone? So, hopefully everyone is in a good health. Oke, okay, baik. Uh, hari ini tang Kamis tanggal 6 Mei 2021 ya, bertepatan dengan 24 Ramadan. Dan artinya ada enam hari lagi ya tersisa Ramadan. Ya, kita bersama-sama untuk uh, bersungguh-sungguh mencari Lailatul Qadar. Karena Lailatul Qadar khairun min alfi syahr. Gitu ya. Alright. Um, uh, well everyone, so today's topic is about um, clarifying expressions of uncertainty and suggestions. So you guys, I believe you have already checked your uh, LMS in Canvas. So uh, you have already done the exercise, the pre-activity and the brainstorming activity. Uh, hopefully you can get the overview of what is actually clarifying expressions and uncertainty, also suggestions. Okay, so this is week 10, mm, TAAP preparations. Well, um, you did the question tag. Question tag, don't you? You want to use question text, don't you? Okay. The overview. The overview uh, in listening part A, often provides answers containing expressions of uncertainty. Uncertainty itu keraguan gitu ya. Atau, uh, uh, keraguan. Dan suggestions. Suggestions, uh, you know suggestions, saran. In this case, the cause, uh, the use of question tag is common practice. Jadi untuk mengekspresikan uncertainty dan suggestions itu biasanya menggunakan question tag. Question tag is a statement used when we expect the listener to agree with. Jadi question tag itu adalah sebuah statement yang dipakai ketika kita berharap bahwa si pendengar lawan bicara kita itu uh, uh, kita berharap lawan bicara kita atau pendengar itu sepakat dengan apa yang uh, kita percayai begitu. The following table present expressions containing uncertainty and suggestions. Seperti ini, uncertainty misalkan begini. Isn't it? Itu tag-nya. Tag itu isn't it itu kalau bahasa Indonesia iyakah atau bahasa Jawanya iota begitu tuh. Iya kah? Ya, gitu. Itu disebut dengan question tag. So positive statement, question tagnya berarti negative tag. Misalkan si plays violin, dia bermain biola. Doesn't she? Begitu. Iya ta, dia bermain viola ta. Misalkan begitu. Lalu he is handsome, isn't he? Moso, misalnya begitu ya. Oke, okay. isn't he? Begitu. He is handsome, isn't he? You should study, shouldn't you? Kamu harus belajar, kamu harus belajar kan? Begitu. Lalu kalau uh, negative statement berarti tagnya positif. Dibalik ya. She doesn't speak English, does she? He isn't coming, is he? You shouldn't go, should you? As far as I know, as far as I know, berarti uncertainty juga. As far as I can tell, kalau suggestions, why not? Let's, itu suggestions. Let's go to the beach. Why not? Okay. The examples and discussions. Below is the example of an expressions of uncertainty. So on the recording, you will hear Do you know when they have to go to the festival? They need to go to the festival this Wednesday, don't they? What does the man mean? In your textbook, you read, he is unsure, tidak yakin, gitu. They will go to the festival this Wednesday. B, he is positive the festival will be held on Wednesday. C, the festival will not be held on Wednesday. D, he knows when the festival will be started. Ingat, jadi kalau pakai question tag itu menyatakan uncertainty, keraguan, atau suggestions. Jadi pilihannya dua itu saja. Tinggal dilihat konteksnya misalnya, do you know when they have to go to the festival? 
They need to go to the festival this week, this Wednesday, don't they? Mereka pergi ke festival bukannya Rabu ini ya, gitu ya. Bukannya Rabu ini ya, nah, ada keraguan di situ. So, what is the best options? So, in this conversation about the expression don't they indicates a statement that shows uncertainty. Therefore, the best answer is A, since the word things and might express uncertainty. Okay. Another example. Below is an expression indicating suggestion. Kalau tadi uncertainty yang sebelumnya sekarang suggestions. Seperti apa contohnya? On the recording you will hear, I'm so tired, but we need to finish the work by today. Let's get some coffee and proceed with it later. What does the woman suggest? In your textbook you read, A. They should stop working and finish the work tomorrow. B. They should take a break and continue their work afterwards. C. They should work this afternoon and stop afterwards. D. They should keep working on their work this afternoon. Berarti yang mana? Kan tadi uh, menyarankan apa? Let's get some coffee and proceed with it later. Ayo kita ngopi aja yuk. Lalu lanjutkan nanti setelahnya. Gitu. Berarti apa? The best option is B. They should take a break and continue their work afterwards. Okay, so this is the best answer is B. So the strategies, what are the strategies we can do? The first, we should identify keywords of uncertainty and suggestion expressed in the second line of the conversations. Jadi kita analisa dulu, mengidentifikasi dulu mana a keyword untuk uncertainty, mana keyword untuk Suggestion. Tadi sudah ada di listnya ya. Kalau uncertainty itu berarti pakai question tag dan juga as far as I know, as far as I can tell itu uncertainty. Kalau suggestion apa? Why not sama let's gitu ya. Oke. Okay. Uh, the second strategy is that consider an answer containing uncertainty and suggestion. It might be the correct answer. Jadi di pilihan jawabannya Anda lihat jawaban yang mengandung kata atau mengandung sense yang uncertainty dan suggestion itu bisa jadi uh, jawaban yang benar yeah. thanks uh, so that's all the explanations for today's topic good luck with your uh, rest of activities thank you Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh